Hey there, this is Dave Humpers from www.hpylorisymptoms.com. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you get regular updates when I post uh, new videos. There's plenty of new ones coming your way uh, over the coming months. In this video I want to talk about um, an extremely common symptom. Many, many people are walking around with this symptom. It's completely unnecessary to walk around with this symptom. It's not a drug deficiency and if you don't deal with it, it can potentially cause a lot of problems further down the line. What is it? Well, it's heartburn. It's where you get a burning sensation in your chest or just right in your sternum in here that sometimes feels as though it's moving back up into your throat as well. It's interchangeable with something like acid reflux or GERD, GERD, which is gastroesophageal reflux disease. Now, there are many causes of these symptoms H. pylori infection is one major cause. Why is that? Well, H. pylori, uh, the bacteria, they have a corkscrew shape, and what they do is they drill into the stomach lining and the lining of the upper part of your small intestine. Goes without saying that if you drill something into your finger, it's going to hurt like hell. The same thing is true in the stomach. You might have millions of H. pylori bacteria all drilling their way into your uh, stomach lining, and that's going to create a lot of tenderness. Uh, redness, inflammation and pain and that pain can manifest either as sharp pain or as this kind of heartburn sensation. Now H. pylori is not the only cause of heartburn. This is really 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 important to understand but it is a major one. Plenty of other aspects of your nutrition, uh, your lifestyle and uh, even some of the medications that you might be taking can also create heartburn. So let's just have a quick look at some of those so it gives you an idea of some of the things that you can change if you're struggling with this symptom at the moment. First thing, the foods that you're eating. Um, plenty of foods can uh, irritate the stomach and upper part of the small intestine and mimic uh, H. pylori and this heartburn sensation. Things like gluten and cow's milk in some people, soy, and then things like alcohol can be very irritating to the stomach lining and, and, and make it inflamed as well. So gluten is in things like bread and pasta and cakes and pizza and breakfast cereal. So if you notice you have any problems when you eat those foods, try avoiding gluten-based foods for a few days and just see if that makes any difference. Try avoiding cow's milk as well, replace it with something like goat's milk and follow the instructions that I have in the H. pylori diet book, which you can find at my website. Now, as I say in a lot of my videos, H. pylori, depending on where it lives in your stomach, can actually create excessive levels of stomach acid, which can create burning, or can create low levels of stomach acid, which, somewhat paradoxically, can also create heartburn. The symptoms of excessive stomach acid production are the same as the symptoms of inadequate stomach acid production. And you think, well, how might that be? It's quite simple when you break it down. If you don't have enough stomach acid, the food will sit in your stomach and putrefy. It will sit in there for too long, it will start to give off gases, it will irritate the stomach lining, and it can create these sensations of heartburn. So that's a really important one. Now, unfortunately, I've yet to work with a client, and I've worked with thousands around the world, who actually ever had his or her stomach acid levels tested by a doctor. When people have heartburn, it's automatically assumed that there's too much stomach acid. But this is simply not the case. Why would Mother Nature put too much stomach acid in our digestive systems? Nobody ever thinks of it that way. The stomach acid's there for a reason. It helps you, it helps activate an enzymes in your stomach that help you uh, digest protein and release minerals so that you can get those nutrients into your body where they can do some good. It also acts as a big hot furnace to stop other bad bugs getting through your stomach and setting up home in your digestive system, things like parasites, yeast and fungi, and other bacteria. If the stomach acid levels are low and a whole bunch of bad bugs are getting into your system, they can also cause heartburn. In fact, they've shown that as soon as the stomach acid level gets knocked down by taking antacid medications, you get an immediate increase over a day or two of candida, which is a species of yeast or fungal organism that can create a lot of irritation in the same way as H. pylori does, okay? Now, if you change your diet according to the recommendations in my book by removing things like gluten and cow's milk and soy and some of the other irritating foods, and your heartburn remains, you need to do a little bit more digging. What I recommend you do is then look at a very, very uh, comprehensive stool test that you can do at home that identifies the other bad bugs, things like the parasites and the yeast and fungi and what have you, 
identifies whether you have optimal levels of the good bugs, which keep inflammation levels down and help soothe your digestive system, and figure out whether you're digesting your food properly, because all of those things can create heartburn. So, just to recap, heartburn is experienced by billions of people around the world. It's totally unnecessary. It's not an antacid deficiency. In fact, the antacids can make things worse for some people. It's caused by foods that you're eating. It's caused by bad bugs living in your digestive system, including H. pylori. It's caused by things like alcohol. It can be caused by um, uh, NSAIDs, medications like aspirin, which can irritate the digestive set, uh, lining as well in the system. Also by a lack of things like stomach acid and the things that you need to break your uh, food down properly. Finally, a lot of people do get heartburn when they're under stress and there's a very good reason for that. Quite simply that stress shuts down your digestion. The stress response is an ancient response which is designed to help get you out of danger. It's called the fight or flight response. When your body senses stress and danger and threat, it will divert the blood flow into areas that it needs to escape danger. That's things like your muscles, your nerves, your brain, your lungs, your heart and your digestive system is sacrificed. So if you don't have resources going to your digestive system, your digestive fluids won't be secreted properly and that can also lead to heartburn because you'll get reduced stomach acid, you won't digest your food properly, etc, etc. If you'd like more information on this topic, please go to my website, hpylorisymptoms.com. You might want to grab a copy of my ebook, The H. Pylori Diet, because it costs no more than a couple of cups of uh, uh, coffee down at Starbucks and I think it can add a real huge amount of value uh, if you have these heartburn symptoms and any other digestive complaints. Uh, my name is Dave Hompes, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.